everybody, welcome back to another studio vlog. This week it is the big packing vlog following on from my six year anniversary sale. Again, thank you so much if you placed an order. We've been really overwhelmed with the volume of orders. I did start packing them yesterday. We've got the freebies to cut because we do those to order after the sales ended so we get the right numbers and stuff. And then the limited edition collections we're also cutting to order because there's no point stocking them and then potentially like cutting way more than we need. So I've been working through the orders where I've got the stock and then any orders that have things that are cut to order I've been putting them to one side so I've made a decent dent in those. I'm having a bit of an issue with the apparent worldwide paper shortage which I'd never heard of until last week. So I did place an order for my removable matte paper and that has like a longer lead time anyway but it's currently at 10 to 12 days which should be okay as long as it's not delayed further. But I couldn't even get the paper that I print invoices on on Amazon. I normally just get like a random A5 paper. I like the 120 GSM one. But I'm not really fussy with brand or anything so I just get whatever of that I can get on Prime. There was none on Prime. <laughs> So I've had to get that from a different company, but that should be coming tomorrow. So I've only been able to print half of my UK invoices, but I did get the international ones printed. I do need to order more premium mat as well, but I know if I abandon my cart, they send me a code. So I've currently abandoned my cart and I'm hoping they'll send me a code so that I can place that order because I have to order that in like a thousand sheets and that is a lot of money. A thousand sheets of premium mat is equivalent to 5,000 sheets of my removable mat. So I can't order premium mat in a bigger quantity. So I really would like a discount code if they can provide me one. I showed you earlier that I baked um, a brownie and a tiffin for Becca. It's her birthday on Sunday. And I wanted to post her some of my like baked goods because every time I bake something, she's always like, oh, I wish you could send me that. So I sent her those for her birthday and I'm really, hoping that Royal Mail delivers them safe and sound. It's pretty tightly packed in the box and I did post my mum um, a millionaire shortbread last year, which I also vlogged and that arrived fine. So I'm hoping that it will be okay. And then tomorrow we're picking up Jenny from the airport. She's back from Alderney. Jenny is my friend who runs the Chelsea Paper Company and I think we're just gonna go into town and do a little bit of shopping. And then while I'm doing that, I think Tom's gonna cut premium mat because we had a lot of premium mat orders I don't know if we've ever had this much premium mat order during a sale. So we do have plenty to be getting on with, but we're making good progress. So we did just have a delivery of paper, but unfortunately this is not my order. <laughs> this is, well, these are the labels that they've ordered. So it's split down the middle and it's for laser. Um, and I checked the delivery note and it's just for the wrong man. Um, well, the wrong company, it's not a man. So I rang them and they think he's got mine and I've got his. Unfortunately, we did unpack it all because we can't leave it on the drive in case it rains. But yeah, it sounds like just a simple mistake, but it is a little bit inconvenient because like I said, with the paper shortage. <laughs> Thank you. 
I hope the audio is okay, but I need to quickly go up to the post box because it's my cousin's birthday tomorrow and I forgot to post her card. But I think the post goes at like four at this post box and it's like two, so hopefully we'll get the last post. I'll update you properly later. I basically like didn't vlog the rest of last week. I'm gonna put it on the start of next week's, well, this week's vlog now. But yeah, I'll speak to you more when I get home. So like I was saying, I vlogged until about Wednesday I think and then I had a nightmare with my paper delivery. I should have ordered it a bit earlier in hindsight but I didn't realise that there was this like shortage so it said it was going to take 10 to 12 days and I was like okay that should be fine like we'd be cutting it a little bit fine with the mystery and stuff but if we don't have too many misfits we should be fine so I was like okay ordered my paper and I don't get like a shipped or out for delivery notification with my paper company it just comes by like a random unbranded courier um it's like a lorry but it's not like ups or dhl or anyone that like actually sends you a notification so i think it was thursday actually but yeah anyway on thursday the courier arrived as i was coming back to my house i'd been for an appointment and i was like oh like perfect timing i've met them so i'm gonna just like unload the paper now because they have to put the pallet onto the pavement and then we have to like unload it quickly so we're not blocking the pavement so it was fine. She unloaded the pallet and as we were about to bring the paper inside, I realised that it wasn't the right paper. So I ordered the paper that just has like one label on the front of it because we obviously like print and cut our own labels into it, like the sticker sheets. So I don't have a cut label, I just have it like the normal big one label. So this one was an A4 sheet that was cut into two. So it has like two small A5 labels on it. And obviously that isn't like right for what we need. Um, so my first thought was, have I ordered the wrong paper? Because, I don't know, the website I use for my labels is really annoying. Like you don't have an account. There's no way to check your previous orders on the website. It's literally just like you search for the product code or like find it in the filters or something. There's no way to actually quick reorder what I had previously. So every time I order paper, I'm always a little bit nervous that I will order the wrong one, but I never have. So I was like, oh my God, did I order the wrong paper? Quickly checked my email and I hadn't. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna ring them and like see what's going on. So I rang them and they were really helpful like in their defense. Um, and they basically said, we definitely remember shipping your order last night so it did go out but this is not your order and i got the delivery note off the pallet and it has someone else's address completely like it's not even from the company that i buy my labels from like the sender is different um the quantity the paper type the adhesive like it's completely not my order and it had someone's address a company in liverpool liverpool is probably like at least three hours drive from me so basically what they think happened was when the courier put the labels on they mixed up our pallets so our delivery notes were right but he got my pallet with my delivery note in my order and i got his pallet like with my shipping label on but it should have been his shipping label so they were luckily able to come and collect it the same day annoyingly because of like the rain <laughs> we had to unload the pallet bring it all into the hallway like pallet as well normally we'd leave the pallet outside but we didn't want anything to get like damaged because it's not ours and the lady on the phone was like just make sure that like everything's ready for when the courier comes and i was like we we need to like reload it outside because there's no way we like two of us can carry a pallet of paper but the courier was really good he helped us repack it as well because like we obviously cut all the um like plastic wrap off and everything so yeah luckily they took it and it was fine and then my correct paper was re-delivered this morning, today, it's Monday today, it was re-delivered this morning at like 7 a.m., which is like never ideal, um, but it does seem to be when all my deliveries are coming at the minute, which is fun. And like I said, like we don't get an out for delivery notification, so we don't know that a delivery is coming until they ring the doorbell. And they're always like, oh, really sorry, it's so early. And I'm like, it's okay. <laughs> So yeah, that was my paper saga. I did put it on Instagram stories, um, but I've been really quiet because I've been at the wedding and she's been doing stuff and I've been really tired. Um, I'm still really tired today. Ari is super tired. He went to dog boarding, I think I mentioned that, and he had a really good time. He's just so sleepy though. Like yesterday, he came back about five o'clock. He slept from probably like 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. today, like solid. We took him for a walk this morning and he's so tired. Like he's not pulling on the lead or anything because he's not got the beans. But yeah, obviously like great that he's tired because he can't get into any mischief. So yeah, I guess welcome to part two of the vlog, the second week. We are still working on sale orders. I'm hoping to finish those today or tomorrow. I'm like really close, but I've done them in such a weird way. Like I kind of wish I hadn't 
approach the sale orders this way because we had some things that were made to order the like limited edition kits I went through the orders and started to pack the orders that had everything in stock so didn't include those kits but now the order of the orders is like muddled so doing the shipping labels is not like straightforward because nothing's in the order that it was chronologically anymore but if I hadn't done that I wouldn't have been able to start packing orders like on the Monday I would have had to wait I don't know a day maybe maybe slightly more because Tom obviously had to cut them so yeah I think I probably still did it the best way that I could have Tom is cutting premium mat today and then we're gonna be working on the mystery so excited about this mystery it's so cute and then I'm not sure what I'm doing with releases this week because we have quite a busy week. Mystery week's are always busy. Loads of stuff's out of stock. Like, I think I might skip this week as well and try and get things restocked. I might see how we go towards the end of the week, but I'm leaning towards doing that. And then we can, like, just have a normal week starting next Monday. <laughs> Would also be ideal if I could catch up on my videos because I skipped last week's vlog. And I don't think I've done a plan with me in, like, two weeks. To be honest, like, I think losing half of that footage, like, it didn't really bother me at the time, but I am feeling a bit deflated about it. I know it's only half a week, but it's just annoying. I really want a new camera. <laughs> I don't know if it's even the camera's fault. It's probably user error, but yeah. I'm going to get back to doing orders now, so I'll chat to you in a bit.
So we're just at the post office. Um, this is pretty much all the orders apart from the premium mat. Hope you can hear me because I'm like in the car park. And poor Tom, I was like, can I vlog while you do this? <laughs> Um, but yeah, we have done, I think this is about 130 orders. So now your orders are after their new home. So I'm working through the final orders. I think I've got about five left and they're all premium Macs. I did leave those until the end. I just want to show you how much premium Mac, because like we don't stock this. So we had to cut premium Mac to order. There's, I don't even know how many sheets or kits are here. And this is like after I've packed this many orders that also contain premium mat and then we have like random sheets here there's some here but like just like kind of one-off sheets like someone ordered one of these and i had to cut like 12 so there's loads of extras here that aren't actually going to be used and then this other bin is also premium mat extras but there's like not much in here at all compared to what's in the other one but yeah i had um my second biggest order ever which was premium mat and then i think it was like fourth or fifth fifth biggest order that was also fully premium mat so we did have a lot of premium mat to cut but i've done it all now so it's just a case of putting in envelopes i can't really show you because like we're doing the mystery but it's absolutely chaos in my office this is one of my desks um and i can't show you anymore because there are address labels and stuff some of the mystery envelopes and we have more mystery here Thank you. 